Hi everyone, welcome to Island Block. Now, Island Block is a blockchain and cryptocurrency educational platform where you can learn everything you need to know about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Now, today we'll be talking about how to verify your Binance accounts. Now, one thing you should know is that identity verification is not compulsory. In fact, you can trade with your Binance account deposit funds and withdraw without having to verify your identity. But one of the major limitations and why identity verification is important is if you do not verify your identity, then you would not be able to interact with fiat currency. For example, you cannot deposit money directly into your Binance account from your bank and you cannot withdraw straight to your bank account. So if you do not verify your identity, it would just mean that the only thing you could interact with is cryptocurrency, but you cannot handle fiat, or you cannot withdraw or deposit fiat. So to verify your identity, you come over here, identity verification, which will be in the security section of your account, and click verify. So the first thing you will do is to verify your personal details now this would include basic information like your country of residence then you press start and your bvn and then they would ask for your personal details your first name your middle name your last name your date of birth residential address and you would submit this information now you would also need to upload a valid means of identification which could either be your voter's card, your international passport or your driver's license. The NIMC paper card would not be valid and it is not recognized. But with your BVN, with just imputing your BVN, you would still be granted access but with certain limitations. So that is how you would verify your identity on Binance. Now please note that there are levels to identity verification. When you verify with your BVN, there will be a limit to which you can there will be a limit to which you can deposit and withdraw daily or at once. Then when you proceed to verify your identity with your international passport or your voter's card, there would also be a certain limit and then the final means of identification would include your residential address and a valid government document that states either your NEPA bill or electricity bill or internet bill. So that is the ad additional verification. So once you are done with this, you can be able to deposit Naira directly into your Binance account and also you can withdraw Naira from Binance straight to your bank account and it doesn't take time trust me it's very fast so now how do you deposit into your Binance account now you go over to wallets and you go to spot now from here you can see your different cryptocurrency wallets that are here so let's say for example you would like to deposit bitcoin now you come over to bitcoin and you click on deposit now one thing you should note is that you should be very very careful when trying to deposit any currency because every currency built on a different blockchain has a different wallet address so for example you cannot deposit bitcoin into an ethereum wallet and you cannot withdraw bitcoin into an ethereum wallet if you try that you would lose the funds completely and it would be unretrievable and the transaction cannot be reversed so that is why you have to be extra careful so let's say i want to deposit bitcoin now in my binance wallet like i did i clicked on btc then I come over here and I'll copy this address. Now this address is where I will send the BTC to. 
if I make the mistake of sending Ethereum to this wallet address or EOS, I would not be able to access the fund. So please take note of this. Now, if you want to deposit something else, let's say you want to deposit Ethereum, for example, you do the same thing. You come over to ETH, you go to deposit, and then you copy the wallet address. I'm sure you must have noticed that the ETH wallet address is completely different from the Bitcoin wallet address. So that is something very important for you to take note of. So once you do that, once you've sent the Ethereum to this wallet address, you will just have to wait for a couple of minutes for your transaction to be confirmed and then it will appear in your total balance. That is all you need to do to deposit Ethereum or Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. Now, if you want to deposit fiat, for example, that is, let's say your Nigerian Naira, all you will need to do is come over here and click on fiat. Now, at this point, I would not be able to deposit fiat because I have not yet verified my identity on this particular account. So, for me to deposit fiat, like I told you, I would have to complete my identity verification to increase my limits. Because at this point, I am not allowed to interact with fiat at all. So, I cannot even deposit as little as 100 naira. So once I verify my accounts, then I will be able to interact with Fiat. In the next video, I will show you how to deposit Naira into your Binance accounts and how fast the transaction is. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.